Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this fan stitch. And if you can see it's very textured on the other side it kind of puffs out a little bit but the the fans are kind of indented in. Let me see if I can show you from the side a little bit. See? It's very textured and very nice and very warm too. So to do the stitch, all you're going to need is any size yarn and the hook that fits that size yarn. I'm using worst weight yarn, which is 4 ply for the U.S. or 10 ply for Australia. And I'm using a 5 millimeter hook, which is a size 8 hook for the U.S. And for this pattern, it is done in multiples of 4, 4 plus 2. And what that means is that you're going to be doing in multiples of four until you reach your desired width. And then when you're ready to begin, you chain two and then you're ready to start. Each one of these fans are four, a chain of four. And this is my hand size. So you can see I really made this big. So I would say maybe only four fans would be enough if you wanted to make a small scarf or something. Okay, I just did my multiples of four. Now I've got it the width that I want, so I'm going to go ahead and chain two, and I'm ready to begin row one. For row one, you want to start off by single crocheting in the second chain from the hook, and then chain three. One, two, three. Now you want to skip three stitches. Let me find my one, two, three. There we go. Skip three stitches, and then the next stitch put a single crochet. This is like the base of, uh, you know, row two and on. So you're going to be just repeating this very simple pattern of chaining three, skip three, one, two, three, and then the fourth through a single crochet. You'll do that for the whole row. And again, chain three, skip three, single crochet. Continue that all the way to the end. Okay, I'm getting to the end of my row, just chain three, skipping three, and then single crochet in the very last chain. And then that will end row one. Okay, for row two, you're going to chain one and turn. And you want to put a single crochet in the first single crochet. And then chain one. Your first uh, stitch will always be a single crochet and chain one or single crochet and chain something but it's always going to be a single crochet in this very first stitch now you want to work seven double crochets in this single crochet here so I'm going to you can you can find your two tops of your stitches here see there's a, one of the strings and there's the other and then go underneath that to do your seven double crochets. If you can't find that spot, you can find somewhere else you can uh, put your double crochets into the stitch, then go right ahead, but just somewhere in and around the stitch. And then be consistent for the rest of your project and use that same space. See, that's four, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So once you've got your seven double crochets done, you're going to find this single crochet here, and you're going to anchor your shell here by putting a single crochet into that single crochet which begins our repeat where we did the very beginning we put a single crochet in chain one that's exactly what you're doing again and then you'll put seven double crochets worked in the same stitch again and then when you get done with those seven double crochets you're going to find your next single crochet here and anchor it by single crocheting chain one and then you'll start you'll start your next wave inside the single crochet that you just created and that will be the repeat for the row so I'm going to start my next back up just a little 
So that's one, two. This can work with thicker yarn, and I'm using even thicker yarn than I did when I first did the stitch. But I bet this would look really nice if you used a, a smaller ply, not to mention easier to work with. Okay, how many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One more, seven. Okay, finding my next anchor point here. Doing a single crochet, chain one, and then I'm starting my seven double crochets worked in this same stitch. So go ahead through the row and I'll show you how to end your row. Okay, I just did my last shell here, the end of the row, and now you want to find the very last single crochet here and do a single crochet to anchor it down. So that ends row two. So for row three, you'll chain one and turn and you'll put a single crochet in this very first single crochet. This time you want to chain three. We're going to be doing a prep row, which is like we did at the very beginning, first row. So I did my single crochet, chain three, and now you're going to want to find the first single, I mean the first double crochet to single crochet in to anchor it down. And then you'll chain three again find the next top, the first double crochet here, and put a single crochet in it. And then again you'll chain three. I can show you here what it's looking like. So now I just chain three, I'm going to single crochet in this stitch, chain three, single crochet in this stitch, chain three, single crochet in this stitch, and you're going to be doing it all the way to your very last shell. You're basically preparing to do your shells again next row. So this is a really fast but easy row to do. It's the shell ones that take a long time. So you'll be doing a shell row and then a prep row and then a shell row and then a prep row. So I just single crochet in my top of my very last shell and then that will end row three. So for row four, you're going to chain one and turn, and you're going to single crochet in this very first single crochet. Then you're going to chain one, and now you're ready to start with your seven double crochets worked into this stitch. Two, three, four, five. So much easier if I had thinner yarn. But I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing here. Okay, seven. Then I'm going to find my next anchor point, which was a single crochet you put in the top of your shell here. So find that single crochet and then you'll single crochet to anchor down your shell. And then chain one and then in this same stitch now you're ready to start working your next set of seven double crochets. And then you're, you'll find here your anchor place and you'll single crochet here, chain one, and then you'll work on your next shell. So continue that down the row. Okay, when you get to the end of row four and you've done your last uh, shell, just find your single crochet down here below and single crochet to anchor that guy down. And then when you're ready to start row three again, you'll chain one, you'll turn, again you'll put that single crochet in that first single crochet, then you'll chain three this time because this is like a prep row, again you'll find that top anchor point, then you'll chain three, move on to the next anchor point for your next shell, chain three, go to your next anchor point, I'll try to get it in the first one if I can. Sometimes the very first one sticks out and sometimes it's the second one that sticks out, but as long as it's, it's even, I'm just putting my single crochets there. 
just important to stay consistent on whatever you decide just continue to do it that way for the rest of the row and again my very last one is going to be when I anchor it there at the end and then that will be the end of row four and then you'll just be repeating this row again which is just simply you chain one you turn again putting that single crochet in the very first single crochet chain one and now you're ready to work your seven double crochets in that next stitch so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to like and share and comment down below. And if you're interested in this kind of hook that I'm using, it's a, a wooden furls hook. You can find the link down below. I recommend that you order it with the extended hook. Also, there's a group on Facebook that I have. Lots of uh, really informative ladies and, and a few gentlemen as well that can help you out if you have any questions you can share your crochet there or links to free patterns it's really a fun place to be so that's it guys I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial bye